Scaria. This ancient land has suffered 30 long years under Akadullah's brutal dictatorship. The opposition parties, progressives, intellectuals, and anyone who dared oppose him, all eventually yielded to his iron will. Everyone assumed that there would be no end to Akadullah's rule. However, as his oppression grew stronger and as countless demonstrations were violently quelled, the enthusiasm for a Scarian revolution deepened. Until one day, when an uprising exploded like wildfire. The revolutionaries have made their camp in eastern Scaria, the country's poorest region. Inspired by the revolutionaries, commoners, long oppressed, have taken up arms against Akadola. While they are disorganized, lack supplies, and are fighting with farm tools, kitchen knives, and relics of previous wars, they are convicted in their hopes for a better future. Despite countless setbacks, the revolutionaries have secured a front line. Akadola commands his army from his palace, a shining jewel situated deep in the wealthy western province. Thousands of his troops, supporters, and mercenaries recruited from allied nations around the world stand guard in his palace. They are well equipped and well trained. With these advantages, Akadola commands an endless onslaught against the revolutionaries. Perpetual war ravages Scaria, with no end in sight for this power struggle. Yet, on this day, an airplane makes its way through the skies of Scaria. Its destination? The revolutionary's eastern encampment. Navigating no-fly zones is a difficult task, and the pilot was forced to land along the western border, deep within the Scarian army's territory. A young college student stepped off the plane, full of determination to help overthrow Akadullah's regime. She, however, never expected to find herself in such a dilemma. No one could have ever imagined that the fate of Scaria and countless lives would rest upon this young woman's shoulders.
It's kind of strange. I don't know if this is the real name or is it just a random name because... <laughs>
Mhm.
Mhm.
Hey. Mhm. Hey. Mhm. Mhm. Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey.
Mhm. Mhm.
Well, this is... I don't think they have... This is smoke on the water. This purple one, if I'm not mistaken. They shouldn't be using this. I don't think they license this track, but... Whatever. <laughs> No, not the smoke of the water, a different one. Let me remember. Yeah, that is disturbing, but I don't remember the uh, name of the song.
Mhm.
Mm-hmm.
Mhm. Mhm. Hey. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hey. Well, I didn't expect this to be a clicker game. I expected uh, something like Darkest Dungeons. It is like Darkest Dungeons. Darkest Dungeon, but it feels like a mobile clicker game. I didn't expect that. Gumblet is exactly like those millions of mobile uh, Glicker Heroes apps that uh, you can download for free. It's exactly like that. But it's just the game is its own art style.
the idea about fighting this against this against an army and you fight this shit, it's not a bad idea. But it's not quite that game. Okay. Thank you. 